More than 20 years later, and the image of this mangled limo still provides chills. In an instant, this crash changed the lives of former Detroit Red Wing Vladimir Konstantinov and several others inside. Konstantinov survived, but he's paralyzed and has a lifelong head injury. These last 25 years, he has been able to live in his own home with 24-hour care. He continues to receive daily uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and medical attention. That's with help from Beaumont Hospital and Michigan Arcadia Home Care and Staffing. Jim Belanca is speaking on behalf of his friend Konstantinov. He hopes the ex-NHL player's story can sway Michigan lawmakers to fix its no-fault auto insurance reform linked to injury care resulting from vehicle accidents. When legislators approved new no-fault provisions three years ago, it cut home care benefits for Konstantinov and 18,000 other Michiganders seriously hurt in crashes. Simply put, care providers, including Arcadia, can't afford to keep providing service, which has reached above $1 million. We literally help him with every granular, molecular piece of his existence. And when you think about him going into an institution where those things, there's just no capacity to help him with the quality of life. Coming up to the evening at Mark on the first period. This Vladimir Konstantinov was a Red Wings fan favorite. 1997 was a dream season. It later turned into a nightmare for Konstantinov when tragedy struck days after he celebrated Detroit's Stanley Cup victory. The limo driver rammed into a tree in Birmingham. Two decades later, one of the NHL's toughest defensemen now needs the help of another team to get by. But that may not last much longer. It's a terrible situation for the families and the patients that are that are having to go through this. Barry Cargill, CEO of Michigan Home Care and Hospice, says there are several bills in the state house which could overturn key no-fault provisions. If it doesn't happen soon, Vladimir Konstantinov may be forced to move out of state for personal care. In Birmingham, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.